What's going on? Something that's what? Something is definitely going on, and that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. Yeah, that, those are things that usually happen. Uh, that was weird. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You got the point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, you being there isn't gonna change anything. Ah, uh, I have a responsibility and I'm gonna see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quite over yet. All right, that's true. Do what you must then. Okay, so what the fuck happened? I mean, wh why would that- why would that speaker blow out? That was strange. Yeah. Extremely strange. Prisoner D99's schedule for tomorrow was blank. It seems like forever ago that I found that out, and now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did all it all mean? I mean, where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen, the point X, the police have surrounded, and the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved with this time when I find her there? Oh boy. Babe, we gotta stop. No, we, gotta we, cook. we haven't done enough episodes okay. today. We'll do, uh, uh, ten minutes. I have to cook. What do you have to cook? Meatloaf? Yes. That doesn't take that long. Go, Dave. Okay. So, chapter seven. I just can't get the images I saw at police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight... Yup. It was, it was Lynn. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out at, as point X. When I got here, I found the place in ruins. What happened? Oh, God. Wow. A uh, few people are dead, it looks like. But is that her on the floor, or no, someone, someone else? No, someone else. Whoa, what in the world happened here? Good question. It's a big chicken. It is a big chicken. Um, yeah, what the fuck? Oh, the heavens, what do I do if I had known something like this would happen? I would have paid the child more. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I would have cooked for more chicken for her. I would have sung for her as much as she liked until she'd had her fill. Actually, about the singing, she did tell me she'd had, she'd had her fill or two. The chef seems to be quite in a panic. Uh, anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. Oh. Okay, but that's other people true. are. That guy's dead, though. Wow, that's, uh... So what do I do here? Eh? No, I'm gonna do that. Whee! Rolling around. That is a big chicken. According to the police radio conversation, I heard Lynn should be here, but I don't see anyone, any... It seems like bad luck has it, has it in for that redhead, so I was half expected to see her in trouble again. I sparred the corpse of the van driver. Oh, wait, there she is. <laughs> Under the chicken. Oh, shit. She's been crushed. Welp. Look at me, I'm... Oh, that's you. Look at me, I'm dead. What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. And you're smiling. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting even more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Have to be tough, you know. <laughs> Great. Well, and how'd it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D-99? Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? Yay, okay, let's swap info. Let's swap. Go and get your partner with swapping. That's okay. not a real term anymore. <laughs> oh, whatever. On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. Security tape showed the person who shot me. It was you. Yep. And then you drop your gun. So what does that mean? No way. You're kidding, right? Oh. Uh -huh. What do, what do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. I saw it. If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? Be because I told you before. You were supposed to give me some information. Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? Yeah, maybe I was like, I killed your grandfather or something. Why she shot me? Yeah, let's find that out. You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard the information, right? I agree, that wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? Yeah, it's like, I have no more use for you. So, yeah, what... But she was shocked. I definitely told you something then. And... And then what happened? She didn't like it. She didn't like whatever I told her. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? 
Oh. I don't remember. I don't know. You've got to believe me. After you saved me, I thought I got all of my memories back. You clearly didn't. But maybe I, I really didn't. You told me something. I can't remember that part at all. Well, that sucks. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No, no, I didn't shoot you. Or did you? Please tell me, what did you tell me that time? I don't know. What did I learn from you? I'm, on, I'm in Amnesac. Amnesac. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, D99's work schedule. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell, but the thing is, there wasn't anything written on prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet. Blank? Oh, blank? shit. Blank? No! That's bad. Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're sup bup sup up up? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like, he can't work. Oh no, he he's a quadriplegic or whatever. Not and that's either. because... He's oh, going to be right. executed. I mean, I, I didn't know that, right. but I forgot about it. Executed? What does executed mean? I don't know. I'm a person who doesn't know things. Do you know what Prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife, right? In front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. Oh, was he framed? He would never. Detective Jowd would never do anything like that. I don't know if it's Jowd or Jode. Whatever. It's one of those. And the death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Wow, does like no one- are there no murders in this country? Not for decades. Well, it must be a really cool country. Even the prisoner wants it, like in this case. It's like, eat your heart out, Sweden. We got it, like a z one death rate. The prisoner wants it. That's definitely something else going on with this case. I just oh, don't know it. Oh, he wants to die. And I have to find out what. That's interesting. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. Well, you're dead. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, he must be connected to me in some way, too. Yeah, because he drew me. Right. Yeah, he's like, draw me like one of your... Like one of your girls. After all, he obviously knows me. What did, what did they say in Titanic? Well, no. Draw me like one of... I don't know. One of the, your girls, yeah. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. <laughs> no, it's not. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector? Carbonella? <laughs> Carbonella? Carbonella, what the fuck your name is. <laughs> Henry Caviezel? Really? Henry Cavell? Oh, I was wrong. It, Henry, Caviz Henry Cavell and Jim Caviezel are two different people. Oh, okay, there you go. Jim Caviezel is Jesus. One okay. in the world made you pick this place anyway. I guess I'd have to say because of you. What? Me, huh? What, do I like chicken? Don't know. What? Did I have a chick? Did I have a chicken coupon? I might have had a coupon in there. Do you remember the note I found? Yeah, I remember the note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and a time written on it. The Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. Wow. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X, so that must mean the mark the police were waiting for was me? Oh shit. So what are you gonna do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? Not exactly. You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. Yeah, that's true, you're dead. All you have to do is not save me. Oh, what am I gonna do? Ooh. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled unraveled all the mysteries of me? No, no. There's a hell of a lot more mysteries. Really? Yeah. What am I going to do now? I'm gonna save you, that's what. You are? I wanna know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And who these people. I like to know who those guys are too. Yeah, I want answers and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. Well, you should. And I won't say I'm sorry either. Well, you should. But I'll help see to it that you get your answers. And you should. Good. Now I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, <laughs> after all. Yeah. She should be like... Eat myself. She should be like liquefied if she was crushed by that. Oh. All right, let's, re let's rewind time and see what happened. And then we'll stop after, after we see how everything played out. The chicken kitchen. Before four, death. Yeah. Alright, so... 
The note said the chicken kitchen 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy-haired man was going to meet here. Well, you know it's me, so... You can just call What's him Sissel. Uh... That, that looked like a <laughs> menu or a mirror. I don't know. Oh, there's roller, rollerblade chicken. That's what we need, a restaurant like this, where it's like, it's like Sonic with the rollerblades, but it, they only serve chicken. Whoa, who are these people? Here you go. Huh. A chicken hat. Those are blue people. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's that's the like mascot hat. <laughs> it's funny. And uh, there's Lynn again. Where's my chicken? Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to be solving a case. That is oh, a big chicken. Shit, that's right. Yeah. Can I eat that thing? <laughs> no. No. It's it's probably made of like plastic and rubber. Oh, what's going on? Whoa. What? Whoa, she can do a backflip. What happened? Some guy crashed through. Oh, she saved her. Yeah, but then that falls. Oh, shit. Boop. Uh, okay, girl, you gotta get... But she saved the girl. Oh, that's why she was knocked out. Yeah, you're just going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual way? <laughs> yeah, that was totally on purpose. But I'll say this, it was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress. The one with the chicken on her head. The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. Oh, yeah, let's more joke about death. If you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it, you know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. Oh, that's true. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this Hulk disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. Yeah, all right. So we're rewinding time. And, uh, and here we are. And on the next, uh, next session, we'll, uh, we'll get all this done. And so we'll find out we'll find how out. she saved from Chicken Annihilation. Chicken Annihilation, the next Will Smith movie. <laughs> so, so bye, everyone. Bye.